Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Check this out. Video number two, the interior overview on this 23 Toyota GR86 Premium Edition. Be sure and watch for a link at the end of this video for the exterior overview. But as I said in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and dive inside and show you all the interior features. Here we go. Okay, on the driver's door here, let's take a look. There's a couple nice premium upgrades on the door that I really like. Uh, first of all, this part of the upper door is suede, so it's not vinyl, it's a suede fabric, um, which is really upscale, it feels nice on there, it looks great too. Uh, my only concern about this is the windows. So you'll notice this is a frameless window, and so you're going to have water come in this window more often than than most windows, especially ones that have frames on there. So my concern is that this is going to get water damaged over time. I strongly recommend that you put some type of a fabric protector on there. Other than that, I think it's great. The armrest itself is leather. It's got this light gray contrast stitching on here. It's padded, very comfortable. There is a bottle holder down here, power mirrors, power windows. Of course, we also have power door locks. And then there's a speaker down here. As far as the threshold of the uh, GR, there's an aluminum uh, threshold plate. These seats are really awesome. So we've got a combination of leather and suede on these seats. The same suede we saw on the doors. The nice part about the suede seats is they prevent you from sliding around when you're doing that high-speed cornering. And these are really thick uh, side bolster, really wide side bolster, so a deep bucket seat to hold you in your place with a height adjustable headrest and the seat belts have these little tethers here so that you can reach them otherwise they're way back here and they're hard to reach now as far as the seats themselves they are not power they're manual there's a handle under the front a handle right here to raise it up and down and then a handle right here to recline it and then we do have a side airbag here which moves forward with you as you move the seat forward down on the floor we have aluminum pedals, brushed aluminum, so your accelerator, your brake, your uh, clutch, and dead pedal. And right there is your hood release. Up on the dashboard, just two switches on this side, trunk release, dimmer switch for your dash lights. Of course, we have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel underneath there. And then there's two of these vents that are omnidirectional, up, down, left, right. You can turn them on and off right here. And then it's interesting to me, up here on the dashboard, this uh, this is uh, suede as well, and then over here there's a speaker. So a really nice sound system. And that's, the nice thing about the suede here is reflections off the windshield, so you're not going to get a lot of sun reflections. And then there is a trip reset switch right there. Everything's pretty compact on the driver's compartment. Let's grab a seat. Okay, behind the wheel of the GR, it's definitely tight up here. This really is just a two-passenger car. So if you're a big person, it's going to be a tight squeeze, especially trying to get in and out of it. The leg room is pretty darn good. I'll show you down here. I've got the, uh, let me see, let me move this all the way back. Yeah, so I got the driver's seat all the way back. Hopefully you can see my feet down there. I wouldn't be able to drive it because I can't push the clutch all the way in. I probably wouldn't be comfortable. So I think if you're six foot, you could, you'd do just fine. But if you're a bigger person, good luck. There's not a lot of room up here. So let's look at the steering wheel. So this is a really nice compact three spoke steering wheel, leather wrapped with that uh, gray stitching and fingertip controls on this side for the, uh, for the information center, which is up here. We'll look at that in a minute. Here's your cruise control, GR, badge down here i like the the metal trim here and then over on this side we've got controls for the sound system and bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone up here we've got wiper controls with intermittent settings over on this side we've got headlight controls with your auto on and off so we do have automatic on and off for your headlights now let's look at the uh, gauge cluster in order to do that, you can see that it is a digital gauge cluster, so I need to start it up. In order to start it up, I've got to move the seat ahead, and then, of course, I have to push in the clutch, and we do have push button start. You can see it's got the GR logo on the push button. So foot on the clutch, foot on the brake, push the button, and away you go. And you can see there we've got, immediately it starts up, there's a little bit of a GR uh, um, 
animation if you will and then it's has all of your information actually more than most cars so it's got the voltmeter it's got the engine oil temperature it's got the engine temperature outside temperature digital clock speedometer tachometer there's a lot of great information you can toggle through using the switches right here on the steering wheel in, t in order to personalize it for yourself and what you like so it's it's really a great instrument cluster. This is the only uh, only car that has that instrument cl instrument cluster in the Toyota lineup. So it looks really nice. It's super compact. It is a small car in here, guys. I'm a small person, and you can see from the sh the brake lever to the uh, information or to the multimedia center, it's not even an arm's length. I don't really have to lift. Basically, for a small guy like me, like me, I like this car. If you're a big person, it's going to be questionable. Two vents up here. There's your four ways. Here's your uh, multimedia center. And this is all new as of 2022. So I'm just going to see if I can tap and bring this on. Oh, I have to hold it. So if I hold this in, then everything else comes on. And it's a new setup. It's all pretty much push button, except for they've got some controls on here and here. Uh, but it does have a uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. Uh, we do have Android Auto. It is Alexa compatible. Probably not showing up great on my camera because of the reflection that I'm picking up somewhere here. But uh, stop by a dealership, check it out. It's a really great sound system and a lot of functionality, including your roadside assistance. Now, if I go ahead and shift into reverse, and this is your six-speed manual, so I'm just gonna pull up here, move it into reverse, and then I can see my backup camera here. Probably not all that great, but uh, you can see that there is one. Sorry, you just can't see it in the video that well, but it does have a backup camera. And then I'm going to move down a little bit further. Here's our automatic temperature controls. It has uh, front driver and front passenger settings. And then there's five controls here, rear window defrost. I'm sorry, yeah, rear window, front window defrost, rear window defrost, heated outside mirrors. You've got your different heating and air conditioning modes here. Recirculation, we can sync these up so they're the same temperature. We can also go to auto mode on and off ac and and the likes i do like these bigger controls especially when you're in a sports car having those bigger buttons as you're trying to keep your eyes on the road it makes sense this is actually a leather wrap shifter feels good in the hand uh, parking brake is right here it is also leather wrapped although it has a vinyl boot on it here and then behind the shifter let me just move my camera around Traction control on and off, track on and off. Two settings for the heated seats up front, driver uh, low and high. And then a little bit of storage under here. Show you this, kind of opens up like that. And then two cup holders and uh, a two USB ports and then also a 3.5 plug right there as well. So you can plug in your stuff. Not a lot of storage, more of a cup holder not great placement for a cup holder because it's actually behind my seat they do have those bottle holders over in the you know in the doors i pointed out earlier but don't forget when you put your coffee in that door or your soda and then you slam the door guess what it's going to be all over the seat so i could have did a better job with cup holder placement in my opinion as far as things overhead we've got lighted vanity mirrors on both sides the visors don't extend, they don't slide, they just are really fixed positions. Our rear view mirror on the premium edition is the automatic dimming mirror with the garage door openers. And then overhead, we've got some overhead lighting here and we have safety connect, that's for your roadside assistance, uh, included for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. So that's a uh, quick look at the uh, driver's compartment. I'm going to give you a cursory look at the back seat because truthfully it's not all that functional. Let's take a look. So in order to get into the back seat, I did go into a wide angle view on my camera because guys and gals, this, this is tight. So there are two seats back here and you can see they dip back quite a bit into a deep bucket seat. By the way, that seat does fold down 100% uh, and I'm just going to slide in here just to show you the best I can passenger room and again it's not great definitely not great so whew, got in here and I'm a small person 
So this seat is all the way back, and you can see with it all the way back, there's nobody going to go behind here. Now an overnight bag you can throw back here. There's a cup holder back here. Of course, there are seat belts. There's actually child safety seat anchors as well. Good luck with that. Uh, and with me back here, this front seat's not all the way back. Like, it's not reclined, and it's all the way forward. If you put it all the way forward, if the person was like four feet tall, there would be a little bit of leg room. But for the average driver, guys, just not a lot of room back here. It is a good car for a quick getaway. Obviously, you can throw your overnight bags back here, but I wouldn't expect to take a long trip in the back seat of here. For tall folks, though, I did want to point out that overhead there is uh, a little bit of a curve in the roof to give you a little bit more headroom, but if your head's touching the ceiling, chances are you're going to be looking into the visor. So definitely not a big person's car but uh, stop by the dealership decide for yourself what's best for you so let's take a look at the trunk again not a lot of room but a plenty for weekend travel that's for sure i do like the way it opens up gets up on out of your way a couple little features here this is actually a lined deck lid not all deck lids are does have an emergency release handle toyota safety comes first on everything um, nice low lift over height this is a flattish floor uh, I do not think you could get a set of golf clubs across the back side of this but the good news is the seat folds down so you're gonna be able to um, uh, run your golf clubs or your snow skis up through the middle your fish poles whatever you have there is a fix a flat kit down under here Again, no spare tire, a little bit of room there. I think you could probably get some jumper cables or a first aid kit, a little bit of storage down in that area there. So you're gonna want every inch of storage you can get when you get inside the GR86. So there you go. That's a quick look at the interior on this uh, 23 Toyota GR86 Premium Edition. Hey, be sure and uh, watch for the link at the end of this video for the exterior overview. So I did two videos, one in and one out. Go ahead and watch for that link. Then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the videos, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share it out to your friends and family. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.